Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Thank you for supporting the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the pures of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemies have stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you, past, present, future, are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. Of uh, Also, there, I wanted to cover some type of dream I had. There's a masculine where it's like you're trying to find out if the woman you are with or you I don't know what this is, like you've been married to this woman or you're considering marrying her, whatever this is. You're trying to find out, basically what I got from the dream is that you're trying to find out if this woman is, like if she actually cares about you. She doesn't. Let's get into it. Sorry. You know, listen. So in this dream, I, I, don't, I didn't get the feel that I was in the U.S. I got the feel that I was in a different country, like a, a Muslim country, Afghanistan, something like that. I don't know if it's Afghanistan because I never really got to see the outside of the, of the uh, building very clear or for a long time. It was like a glimpse, right? So in, this, in the beginning of the dream, so they live in this building and I think they stay on the first floor of the building. It almost seems like they're underground, but they're not underground. It's just the main, the first floor of the building. So you walk like a long hallway and then you make a, a, a steep left turn and then you walk in a little bit and then there's a wooden gate and it, it's two, like you kind of push them open and they swing open. You walk through, go down a hall and her apartment is down there. Um, so it's like this gate that you walk through doesn't lock. I don't know what's up with it. It doesn't lock. Uh, so there are multiple apartments in this building so she can just walk in, right? But at the beginning of the dream, it's that you two are hanging out, you're eating. I think her family, they're really well acquainted with you, but they are like this religious family that aren't true to their religion, if you get my meaning. Um, these are like the people that kind of pretend to be in the upright, but they're not in the upright. Um, and also something I picked up on is that my, my actual sister was in, like my sister and I were in the dream. There is some type of duality with this woman, this Muslim woman that, uh, I was kind of playing in the dream because I took over her body to get her emotions and things like that, to see what it is that she really felt. So between my sister and I in real life, my sister is a little bit more modern, a little bit more, not a little bit more, a lot more hip and modern. Like she's the one that dresses up to part, like that she's the fashionista. I mean, I'm very, like I, I dress very well and modest and things like that. My sister's a little bit more, you know, snazzy with her dressing. Um, and it works for her. I'm not here to, you know, talk down over my sister. It works for her, it, her, like her outfits and stuff are very beautiful on her and things like that. Um, but there's a duplicity be with this woman. There's something where it's that when you are around, sir, she plays like she's the typical Muslim woman, the traditional woman. But when you're not around, then she is in like that other energy. Okay. So in the beginning of the dream, you two are eating, you know, you're chatting and everything. And then you leave. I think you leave to go to work or you left to go on business or something. But all of a sudden, certain, like, uh, there's the ba -ba 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 going on. Like, you know what I mean? They go, W breaks out, right? And people are running all over trying to get to safety. Uh, the people in the building, they're all running into their apartments trying to get into safety and lock their doors and things like that. And I remember I'm still playing this woman at this time and my sister is walking with her and they're chatting. And she told the Muslim lady, she said, he said he'll be right back. And she says, I don't really care about him. And immediately when she said that, that let me know, hey, this ain't you. That, that ain't how you move, sister. Get up out of this body. So immediately when she said that, I like left her body because I wanted to see who this woman was. It was a Muslim woman in her hijab, like fully dressed in her traditional Muslim attire. She was in black. Um, and then there was another layer under the black on her like forehead 
it's like the first layer she put on was like rose gold or some type of pinkish color um and then there was black over it so you could see the a slit of pink on her forehead but the rest of her was black right but when she said that she didn't really care about him knowing that there was a whole blown war going on and i said no that this is not me because that's not how i will be handling this if like my partner whether my husband, boyfriend, or whoever was out there and all of this was going on, I would be worried sick. Heck, I may even leave this home to go find him. No, she said, oh, I don't really care about him. So at that moment, I leave her body and I go to wander the hall. Like, like my soul is kind of just wandering the hall because I'm trying to get an understanding of what's going on. So I go and I find him. Um, and I think it was just like a placement thing for them to let me know what it is he was doing. This man was out on business. Like he was selling, which is what's letting me know that they may have some type of business agreement, some type of business alliance or contract with one another, something like that. But he was, uh, uh, um, he was doing business. He was selling something like there was something he was selling and he was holding like, it almost looked like key, like a keychain, but it was, uh, shoes they were blue and i think blue yellow and white or something like that some silver on there and something someone said something about a tracker and i'm just looking around and i'm the all this chaos going on and he's working and she's here talking about she don't care about him but i just remember when i woke up from the dream and i not really even when i woke up when i got out of her body and i saw she was muslim i said oh source you know i cannot be a muslim woman because my mouth is too disrespectful like the stuff like i'm just too straightforward to be a muslim woman like you can i can't imagine like even my sister the one that's playing the other woman in the dream I'm like girl we're too like out there with our mouth for our mouths for us to be muslim like we will be those muslim women that get you know stoned on the second day of being a muslim woman like no 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 like our mouths we tell you what it is like you're, you're not about to tell us how to dress you're not about to tell us where to go you're not about to tell us what we can eat who we can talk to that ain't us that's why it's probably a good thing we were born in whereas west africa because <laughs> it ain't no way <laughs> when i said we will be executed on the second day of a, of being a muslim woman woman yeah that's us but there is something where i think you've been trying to figure out if this woman cares about you um yeah about that sir it's a no um the family they use religion to kind of get grabs a hold of you and keep you because there's something where i feel that when you are around them they give you all this religious talk about how people or women are supposed to be this way and how modest they are and they put on this show for you and you've been falling for it for a long time and she knows how to play her role but the fact that my sister and i were in that dream and i was playing the muslim woman and my sister was playing the other friend i think she may have a friend Maybe this is the friend that influences her or she's the influence on her friend. But there is some type of duality about this woman. She is very modest when you're around. But then when you leave, it's like, uh, yeah, he's gone. Live your best life. So anyways, that's what it was. Okay, so we have a king of cups out here that's living in some type of anxious state. Someone is afraid of uh, some type of truth coming out, him being way down, burdened, and things like that. There's something where this man is going through some type of like. Um, I don't know if someone, yeah, baby, someone is going through a tower behind the scenes or he's trying to cause a tower for someone that someone is trying to burden you or they're going through some type of burden but really what i'm getting is that someone is living in fear of everything falling apart in their life there's something that this man did behind the scenes may have told some type of lie and he's afraid of the truth coming out or this could be someone that's hiding from people someone could have to go into like witness protection or something like that because there's there's some type of malicious thing this man did. And when he came out, he was in the reverse, meaning that this man is not genuinely himself. This is someone that manipulates people's emotions. This is someone that puts himself as very genuine. This is all like a, a character he's playing so that he can get out of you what it is that he wants. If he has to be loving towards you, he knows how to take on that energy. If he needs to be a brute, he'll take on that energy. If he has to pretend to be this, he will be that for you. So there's something where a king of cups is living in fear of some type of tower happening in his life, which it will happen. Like someone stands to lose everything and they're living in fear of this. He could even have people after him trying to hide from people. He may be like a bit of a, <clears throat> a bit 
excuse me, I'm telling you, he's worried about the truth coming out about his character, who he is, people looking into him, finding out what it is that he's actually been doing out here. Uh, someone is like in hiding. They're keeping away from people at the moment because people may have a lot of questions for someone because he's been doing something for a very long time, may have been trying to paint someone out in a light that's not theirs. Right. So if this is like a, a ex or someone you had some type of contract with or someone you're familiar with from the past, there's something he did that caused a lot of turmoil behind the scenes, a lot of havoc, chaos. And now people may be after him to ask questions and things like that. You also I picked up on a king of cups that may want to come into your energy as a feminine energy to mislead you and things like that. Now, I don't know why he's this set on coming into your energy because someone may want you to use your manifestation gifts and things like that to help him balance life out. You don't owe this person anything. I would thread with caution when it comes to this masculine this because this is someone that plays people he plays everyone like a tuba everyone in this man's life environment they're a puppet they're like a piece on a chessboard so and I'm saying that because of the way he came out sideways is that he's not sure of who he is who he wants to be that's kind of like that what do you want me to be I got multiple masks I can be the king of cups, the king of swords, the king of blah, 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 but all in the reverse. He knows how to put on a show to go for what he wants and to ensure some type of turnover for him to go in his favor. So someone will even pretend to be you and things like that. Someone is going through a lot behind the scenes. It's a group of friends going through a lot behind the scenes. They may be crying about something being balanced out, karma playing out and things like that. So it's like there's a woman behind the scenes as well that's going through some type of reality that she tried to manifest for someone or this is what the group of friends are going through. Um, so just be on the lookout collective. I'm being told to tell you, you have nothing to worry about, but the people that have been coming after you, maybe this is like the three witches, Twitter D, Twitter Dumb, and Twitter Dumber, that have been coming after you are going through something. There's a family that's going through something behind the scenes as well. There's like a tower. They may have received some type of message about like a, a, a nine of cups kind of uh, energy. And I don't think it's this family that's receiving it. I think they're receiving messages that someone is going to be having wish fulfillment. It's not them. They are not the ones receiving wish fulfillment. It's a message being sent to them to tell them that, hey, whoever you've been trying to destroy is going to have wish fulfillment. If you've been living, yeah, and they're crying behind the scenes, I'm telling you. And if you're having some type of uh, La, uh, La Vita Loca lifestyle, a base up for someone else's demise is over, just so you know. Um, it's like also they're telling someone that, hey, whoever you've been coming after, they know the truth. So there's no way for us to go in and manipulate this person. You could be a king of cups as well. People have been coming after. Not the one that came out sideways. Yeah. Not the one that came out sideways. So something is going to be released. They cannot hold on to. Yeah, this has to do with it. It's a pentacles 10, a pentacles offer. It cannot be held up anymore. It has to be released. There's something where it's like, oh gosh, I got it. <laughs> Everything I said stands. This King of Cups has been trying to hold on to someone's abundance, someone's wealth, someone's money, something that don't belong to him. So it's that someone was giving either some money or a house or property for you, and he's been refusing to give it to you, and he's been holding on to his to it with his dear life. It's that, oh no, she can't have this, he can't have this, I'm going to keep this, this is mine. Someone has been given a time limit on when they can return or give what belongs to you. And if they don't, it's going to be disastrous. This is not just like the law getting involved. This is like an act of God stepping in there to reveal the truth. Like there's something that's about to happen to a King of Cups reverse. Um, confused. King of Cups were confused. He's not going to be able to control it. Like this is not something he can prevent from happening. And there's something where people are going through some type of awakening, having, awakening, having some type of realization that, hey, this does not belong to this man. This is that one of these people, they go to bed tonight, you know, like they're lazy as heck. They don't put any effort for anything. They want to be wealthy without married, like nothing. They don't want to work for anything. All of a sudden, they wake up, they're a millionaire. Nobody knows where they got the money from. It's because they stole it from someone else. All of a sudden, they have a big house. 
No one knows where this mysterious house came from. It's because they stole it from someone else. So someone has been trying to hold on to what does not belong to them and they have to let it go. And the universe has been waiting patiently to let, have this person let go, but they don't want to let go. So they're doing something that's going to force him to let go. So you will be receiving some type of communications to let you know that, hey, you have a nine of cups kind of energy out here waiting for you. Like you're about to have wish fulfillment and being your 10 of pentacles. Like your abundance is being released. Someone cannot hold on to it anymore. It's not theirs. It never was theirs. Okay. And they're going to have to move on. No more lying, no more stealing, no more manipulations. I don't know if this is an ex of someone, but they've been, whoever this is, has been holding on to what belongs to you and they have to let go of it. This is what has been decided by the spirit realm. Guys, that we've been patient with you long enough. We're kind of sick and tired of this these little games you're playing telling you we're sick and tired of these little games you're playing it's time for you to release what does not belong to you this family if this man is part of a family this is all the universe the the the, the, the spirit realm bringing balance into this situation they say if you this family okay because this also symbolizes a family that has to let go of something but this also symbolizes your ten of pentacles that's coming in towards you. But they've told this family, they've made it clear to them. You got to let go. You cannot have this ten of pentacles. It does not belong to you. It's going to whoever it belongs to. So someone will have wish fulfillment. Someone is going to have love. Um, there's something where it's like they've been trying to block some type of uh, love connection, which is the honest truth. They've been trying to hold someone, keep someone stuck in some type of karmic marriage. And this could be why I had that dream of the Muslim woman that pretends to be in the upright, pretends to love her husband, pretends to be the traditional Muslim woman. She cooks for her husband. She cares about her husband, but then he can go out and a WAR can break out and she can say she don't care about him. Girl, girl, I didn't know the sisters over there were that savage. This is the, this is clarity. This is the clarity that you needed. Okay. For whoever that dream was for, this is the clarity you needed. They don't care about you. They see you as like a cash cushion and they're trying to find a way on how they can trap you. Hold on to you. Keep you stuck. Keep you weighed down and burdened. You've been under some type of illusion that these people cared about you, that they genuinely were your family. You're afraid to let them down. Baby, they don't let you down way before you even got into a connection with these people. This is something they do. This is how their family are. This is how, this is how the family is. Okay? So you're going to have to remove yourself to have victory and be able to move forward in life to give your commitment to whoever it is that you're trying to support out here. Okay. Um, so just thread with caution. Okay. And then th th something to notice in the dream, the woman that was saying that she didn't care, maybe she didn't have no accent or maybe spirit just set it up that way so that I could understand what it is she was saying. But yeah, I didn't hear no accent or nothing. And sister was fluent, fluent. <laughs> that should have let you know something was up. <clears throat> The gag is, and the sister Kiki Palmer says, the gag is, it's a whole fist lie. It's an act. It's a whole act, okay? Anyways, whatever this has to do with this family letting go of this, baby, this is like them trying to force someone to stay in a love connection. And then you have a King of Cups reverse trying to come in to give you love connection so you have two masculines that are interested in you one is free himself from some type of facade of a relationship and the other one is from your past in the reverse that manipulates everybody around him he wants to come back now to have a genuine give and take with you this contract is over the people he's been working with or oh, this whole family baby they got nothing but problems coming in going on there are some supernatural things happening to these people behind the scenes um and they don't even know how to make sense of it a lot of distress a lot of turmoil a lot of crying a lot of just chaos and, and, and i don't I, I heard in a my city just conflict Conflict, conflict, conflict. There's a queen of cups crying behind the scenes because two people will be coming together. Their family's about to be stuck and living in like it's what I understood because whoever this masculine is, baby, I guess he got the money, money, and they need him for the money, money. So, mm. I don't know if this woman is a true queen of cups. I think this is someone that takes on that energy. 
Okay, this is coming out in the reverse. I'm telling you, he got to let go. He can't, you got to let go. He doesn't get to decide when you can get what it is you want. That they're telling him, you got about three days to return this person's wealth or property. You got about three days to fix this. Oh, your behind about to be in jail in the penitentiary, get it penetrated. Okay, let go. So, you are coming out of hiding with this offer coming towards you because what? <laughs> it's time. It's Yeah, it's time. It's time for things to be balanced out in your life, darling. It is time. Okay? So someone will be walking away from a queen of either wands, queen of cups, reverse, whoever. They're all in the reverse. It don't matter. If it's the queen of wands, queen of cups, queen of swords, queen of pentacles, they've all been coming out in the reverse. And you will be having a new beginning. Someone is leaving. There's a wealthy man leaving. He said, I'm free. I'm out of here. <laughs> Take me away. <laughs> He is gone. And now that this man is confident <laughs> that he will have success somewhere else, mm -mm, he ain't staying. There's also some type of communication about a betrayal. It's that someone is finding out either he was never betrayed by someone or that he betrayed the wrong person and he's out here in remorse. So he may want to come out here and give you a, a honey. I don't know. I, I try not to emphasize too much on this gift, gift, gift. Because I don't want my collective sitting around waiting, waiting, waiting to receive, receive, receive. Go out there and, you know, make moves. Okay? Make your moves. Commit yourself to your journey, your past, and things like that. Nobody got time to be waiting for Peter to come back and give you something. Or for Paul to mysteriously show up at your door to give you something. Okay? Listen. Now that this man is free or your abundance is free, someone is being free from a relationship. Someone is being set free from a relationship. This man felt confined. This man felt restricted. He's been living in anxiety. He's not happy in the relationship. He said, I got to get out of here, but I don't know how to. She may love me and I'm just overthinking. Uh-uh. No, no, no. That's just to say she don't care what happens. She said, oh, I don't really care about him. I said, dang, she's savage as heck. She is savage. You mean with all that pa 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 do 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 you're hearing out here? That sister didn't blink an eye. Because you are in that family for one thing, and one thing only to ching, cha ching. <laughs> put her into it. When you put her into it, this is going to be her. How did he know I don't care about him? How did he know? Girl, he went to a whole psychic in the dream state. He said, oh, I got to find out. <laughs> I got to find out because I'm sick of this mess. In my mind, all day worrying, wondering if she likes me, she doesn't like me. Is the family genuine? No, they ain't. So he went to a whole practitioner in the dream state. He said, Sister Cynthia, look. I need you to find out if this heifer really gives two Fs about me. Because <laughs> I'm tired. I feel restricted and weighed down. <laughs> Baby, they've been make, uh, pulling a number on this man. This is your clarity to move on, sir, to so balance your life out. Nobody deserves to be in this mess. Nobody at all. So now that he's free... <clears throat> Oh, yeah, now that he's free, baby, he's planning on going to where he belongs. He said, I am going to go have that true love. <laughs> and he's... <laughs> and brother said, bye-bye, bye, goodbye, goodbye. I don't even think he said bye. <laughs> he just dipped. <laughs> he dipped and appeared right into his new beginning. You will have success in your relationship, sir. It, it is going to be a relationship that helps you heal. Okay, this is one that's going to be a fulfillment, right? A lot of material wealth. You'll be, you two will be friends and things like that. It'll be based on practicality and things like that. Abundance, being business minded, down to earth and things like that. That you're going out of like, you know how you come out? Like sometimes there's, there are certain experiences you have to have so you can understand a blessing when you receive it. This is the situation a masculine is in. He does not realize that he's been in some type of dreadful situation, even though he's been unfulfilled and unhappy in it. 
when you come out of this and you end up in the actual relationship you're supposed to be in with your soulmate or higher level soulmate, whatever it is, you're going to look back on what you used to be in and you're going to appreciate this relationship because you are way down and burdened, but you're still trying to stay disciplined and push through whatever it is you're pushing through. Okay. Maybe your, your strength is unmatched. I don't know. How, yeah, it's their strength. I don't know how long. You've been putting up with these people, this family, pretending to be modest, pretending to be religious, just so you could choose their daughter and stay with them. But now that you are considering other options, maybe they're out here watching you, watching you. And if you're going or you're watching the high priestess or they're watching you, watching you too, they're watching her, watching her too. It's a whole, oh, it's a bad mama jam. It's a page of swords, high priestess. Empress energy, high event. Oh, bad mama jamma. No wonder. No wonder. <laughs> Everybody's watching everybody. Only the high priestess is not watching anyone unless they get a download. And apparently she just got a download on you all. Sir, go to who go to whoever or wherever you're going and invest. It'll be successful. Move on with your life. Okay? Leave them in their I don't know what this is. It is like a Broadway show to go to this extent to put on a show to pretend to be religious, baby. These people are out here putting on a whole show for you. Uh, they even plan their, their uh, conversations before you come around. So nothing is out of order. They know what to say. They've been doing this for a long time. They know what to say, how to move. You could be a king of swords. That's what these people. There's a king of swords that's in the upright as well. Um, he said to be quiet. There's something he's doing and he don't want me talking about it. Okay, sir. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. You do what you do. You do what you're doing. <laughs> he said, please, 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 please don't say it. You be telling everything, sister. <laughs> You be telling me everything. It's a Sagittarius that does the same with me. It's a Sagittarius that be doing the same thing with me. The last few readings, as soon as he shows up, yeah, shh, 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 shh. But it says, sir, we have to know what your intentions are for the person you're going towards. And he said, no, 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 no. These people are into my business. I don't want them to know. <laughs> I'm trying to move in silence. Yeah, this family, they're not able to end you. They may have even been trying to end the masculine before he can move away in the feminine energy they think he's interested in. They're not able to. Like someone is recovering. So he done left his family and he's recovering. Okay? And this family may be out here trying to minimize the loss they're about to experience. This is part of the, why, the reason why this Ten of Swords is... In the reverse, like you, baby, sir, uh -huh, you barely escape these people. You, bur you see the devil in the reverse and the tender swords in the reverse. You are about to be trapped in something horrendous for a long time. You barely, when I say barely, this must be a queen of wands. Reckless as can be. Manipulative as can be. You barely, you're about to marry this woman or you're married to this woman. Baby, you're about to, mm, you're about to be out here being chopped liver. Because you, mm, 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 mm. you barely escaped. Barely. Ooh. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you say you don't want you don't want to be committed no more. <laughs> what had happened? What had happened? What had happened, sir? <laughs> what had happened to you? He said, "No, I want to be balanced. I want to heal. I, want, I don't want to be. I don't want this anymore." <laughs> oh, damn. He's leaving a position as well. Whoever this is, either they're being fired, they're being let go of a position. You've been tempering with someone's work. This is for a different person. Been tempering with someone's work. Someone is being let go as well. 
there's too much going on. You got a king of cups out here having a lot of emotions for someone he betrayed. It's like he refused you before, rejected you before, but now he wants you to accept him. And you're like, nah, I don't want no offer from you. I'm moving on. I'm coming out of hiding. Blah, 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 blah. And he's living in fear of you being out here, having options and things like that. And you're just like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, that's balance in the situation. You rejected someone before. You were pulling a lot of mind games. This is one of those people, the fact that he came out sideways. One of, this is one of those people one day he likes you. It's not even that he likes you. He'll just act like he likes you. And then what? So the next day is that he can't stand you. So it's like flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, right? Now that you are coming out of hiding, he's afraid. He said, oh my gosh. If she comes out of hiding, if, she's, if she accepts an offer from someone, they are going to marry her and I won't have a, a, a chance of getting back into her life. Then that would be the reason, sir. That's the reason why God is causing this tower in your life. That's, that, that, that's why. Okay? You ain't never, ever, ever gonna be with that woman again. Leave her be. Okay? Move on. Move on. Anyways, now you got you, you got a, a God out here causing a tower and everything this man planned. Someone may be sick out here as well. Someone's mental is unstable. With this freaking nine of wands and this freaking four of swords out here with the tower, someone's mind is on, mental is unstable. Someone may have some type of mental illness or something like that that people don't know. Someone could have been diagnosed with mental illness in a community before and they've been hiding this. But there's a man that's desperate to get in someone's energy so he can give you an offer and you can start a whole new karmic cycle over. Because this is someone that will be well behaved for about three weeks. After three, three weeks is all you get out of him. Three weeks. After three weeks, baby. <clears throat> Salud. Au revoir. See you later. Hasta la vista. That will be him. Three weeks is all you get from him as far as commitment and loyalty. So this is why the universe is causing a tower to everything he plans. Every time he plans on coming into your energy, tower. And in time he thinks of you to try to manifest off of you, tower. Is that nope, 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 nope. Uh-uh. You cannot harvest their energy. Not, this is someone that does energy harvesting. Okay. And someone could end up passing away if they're not careful. The universe is said, hey, you know, we've tried to redirect you so many times and you just ain't listening. You ain't getting the picture. You ain't getting the math question correct. We made it as simple as one plus one. Okay. Or we made it as simple as two minus one. You ain't getting it. So we're going to do it for you. Okay. We're very disappointed that we have to do your math homework for you. They don't want to have to do your work for you, sir, but you left them no choice. This is like the teacher doing your work for you. Okay. So now they're putting an end to his plans of coming into your life. Restarting the karmic cycle with you. They said we ain't having it. Exposure about a relationship. Now that he got communication that you and someone will be committing to each other and it will be fulfilling. There will be equal give and take reciprocity. You two will be successful together. This brother said, I don't think so. I don't think so. He don't have a say in this. It says someone already lost their contract with you, but they still want to be relevant. So the universe said, in order for these two to come together, I got to end this sucker here. It's over now. Okay, you are not going to make it. The storm is not over for you. I mean, it's just beginning. You say you think that you can make it. No, the storm is not over now. You're just starting. You better sit down. Sit down, sit down. Okay, so you collective may be receiving communication from someone that is interested in you. They want to work with you. Maybe it'll start off as a work partnership or something of that nature. Um, someone's out here as a bachelor now, so they may be single. The fact that they know the truth now that whoever they've been with, this is from a this, like there are two masculines. One is the King of Cups in the reverse. This is someone probably from your past. You didn't have to date him. It could have been someone you maybe was familiar with, was interested in you. Maybe they didn't know you were their twin flame until you left a situation and you started keeping your distance from them and you went through some type of awakening and mastered yourself and now they want to come back in your life and it's a big no from the universe. The other king of cups is someone that's in the upright and he will maybe be showing up as a king of cups because of his emotions for you but this is a higher level soulmate 
So this is not just like a twin flame thing. This twin flame is out here because you two will be successful together in life, in life, in business, in everything, okay? Which is also symbolic of what I saw in the dream with this man working when this woman was saying that she didn't she didn't really care about him. He was out working because they had some type of business alliance together, business contract together, whatever this is. Um, you two will be having some type of business relationship, but also a personal relationship that will be successful. These are two higher level soulmates. You two have been together before in other lifetimes. And when you meet, there is going to be some type of energy transfer between the two of you that's going to let you all know on a spiritual level that you are familiar with one another and you will feel that emotionally and just be aware of it as well mentally. Like your the energy will let you know that it's okay to let your guard down around this person. And this is someone that's very uh, successful in life. This could be like a wealthy man. He may be a little older than you because I see this page of uh, cups out here. He may be a little bit older than you, but that is okay. This, he's going to be out here looking out for you, protecting you. So everywhere you go, he's at, listen, I'm telling you, he's going to be looking out for you during the day, at night, every man. This man, listen. This man is going to make sure that you are taken care of. He ain't playing about you, okay? Spiritual, this is a higher level soulmate as a, like a wealthy man in the upright, very generous, maybe into like, uh, in, 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 uh, what is it, Ph philanthropic activities and things like that. He likes to give to the community, take care of people. But when I said this man has some type of intuition that is a little bit scarier than yours may be, uh, you, you, you're a savage, but this brother here, th this one here, this is a different kind of brother. Okay. Um, but he's going to be very protective of you, both physically, spiritually, any kind of way you can think of. He's going to make sure that his queen of wands is taking care of. This will be the queen of wands in the upright, not the one that's out here being, uh, 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 Abracadabra. <laughs> okay. Not that one. He, the actual queen of wands, like he finds you to be very beautiful. The woman he's leaving is very beautiful and he finds you to be beautiful as well. So he, I guess he has to think for pretty things. Okay. Okay. But this family, he's escaping this family. Okay. It's like a narrow escape. I don't know if they were plotting on him. There's something they were doing when it comes to this man. And he like snapped out of it or he's snapping out of something and going on to safety sir these people are dangerous that's all i can tell you they are is in <laughs> they are dangerous like they're out here desperate they are desperate okay they are desperate to hold on to you to make sure you don't leave these are the kind of religious family that are say hey we don't do divorces don't do this. This is against our religion. Meanwhile, they don't even honor the religion. Okay? So, you are is free to go. Is what I'm being told to tell you. You're free to go. You're going to figure it out. You got to let go of these people. You see how this is out here in the reverse? This is clarity for you. You've been receiving some type of ill advice from a family in the past to keep you stuck and trapped in some type of weird connection like a weird connection i don't know if you and this woman had a baby together or something a child together maybe she's even misusing the child to get at you it's like you can't see the child or something like that there's something going on with a child in here as well but you and whoever or maybe this is like you and your partner when you come together there's going to be a child produced from this union which you two will love this child equally and you will parent the child the right way I don't know if you had a child, but this woman, I didn't see a child in the dream. But then again, not everything's going to be shown to me in the dream. But anyways, whatever contract you had with this woman, whatever commitment, whatever it is, it's over. It's over. It's over now. You are free to go. Free to go and live. I hope she ain't watching my channel because she's going to be pissed off at you. She didn't tell you everything. She told everything. How did she know what I said to my friend about him? Girl, spirit said, uh-uh, girl. You got to, got to chill. How did she know what I said behind closed doors?
divorce. So I said, we got to tell this brother. She ain't no good. She ain't no good. Beware of danger. Oh, yeah. Be aware of danger, sir. Collected. There's a woman out there. Be cautious as well. There's a man that's trying to track you. It's like he's trying to come into your energy and force some type of alliance with you. It's something I've been picking up. This is a man that's, when you and this man we have met, you will have been in like a six of wands energy. Like successful in your own right. Very content in life. Not wealthy, but content. Living comfortable in life. Okay. This man will have been in like an eight of pentacles energy. And he looked down on you or rejected you or something. There is something where this man's finances has been like turned upside down. He may be in like a five of pentacles energy. And this has a lot to do with the kind of person he partnered up with uh, either an institution or a woman. And it has led to a lot of loss for him. Now, I think he's keeping track of you in some way, like watching you on social media, mo monitoring your life in some way. He's trying to track you. Maybe even getting in contact with family members, trying to figure out where it is you are, how he can, what's the best way to approach you, talking to friends and family, colleagues, and, like someone has invaded your life, okay? Be very cautious because this man is coming towards you with an arterial motive. He's going to come, put on a whole show, act like, oh, you know, he's trying to mend things with you, a tune, achieve some type of attunement between the both of you in a situation, but he's trying to figure out a formula because you may be in a very good place. You're successful, headed to like a 10 of pentacles or something like that. And he's trying to figure out how it is you do what you do. What's your formula? Uh, I don't know what this has to do with like a business. You may be at the start of your business, but they know it's going to be successful somehow because you're someone that's very committed, very loyal, very disciplined. And he knows it's going to be successful. You will have wish fulfillment. So he's coming in to ask you, basically get the tee hee hee from you so that he can go and use that. But he's not going to tell people where it is he got it from. You know how some of these uh, influencers be. All of a sudden, they just have the knowledge. No one knows where they got the knowledge from until everything blows up and you find out they've been stealing it from little old Maria's platform and dispersing it on their last platform and acting like they didn't get it from Maria. And then we'll have sometimes the audacity to talk down about Maria. Like, no, you see, she talking about she's copying me. She's copying me. And until people go in and look at the dates, they said, look, let, hold on, hold on, Jennifer. Jennifer, Maria posted this, this on January 21st. You posted it on February 1st. What, what's going on here? Some of them will even go to the extent of hacking into uh, smaller influencers' phones and things. It's serious out here in the uh, influencer world. They'll even hack into people's phones, download their content right after they're recorded, and upload it to their platforms and things like that. And then when little old Maria is trying to upload her content to her platform, it's being delayed so that what Jennifer can upload it first. And then when there's a court case, Jennifer can say Maria stole it from her. Forgetting that there's a timestamp on when what Maria recorded that conversation or that video. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah. It, it, it's a doggy dog world out here in, with, with some of these creator, this con, these content creator. Not all of them are like that, thank goodness. But, a, but there are a few nut cases, bad nuts amongst the rest. They just be trying it. Just to trying it. Okay? Oh, now, where was I? Anyways, let's get back to that. But anyways, be careful with this man coming to you to establish some type of friendship. This is not someone genuine. This is someone that's going to be putting on a whole show, a whole facade to get in your good grace. Be also wary of, a, of someone trying to get some type of information out of you that's going to set you up so that you can end up in some type of legal situation that you have no business being into. It says someone, there's someone listening with this ear. There's someone listening to you so you can F up and waiting for you to F up and say something that's going to incriminate you and open some type of court case that's frivolous as can be like just something that should not be taking place but they want you to have issues so that you can lose your finances you can either be locked up and things like that and then they can take over 
whatever it is you're doing or something that belongs to you can go to them. It's like they're trying to set you up. There's a man that is binded in some type of contract he accepted money for or he made some type of promise or something and he's binded to it. And he's just waiting. This could be a woman too. They're just waiting for you to say the wrong thing. And then here comes the FBI or the police at your door talking about, hey, yeah, we we are going to need you to come with us. For what? Oh, yeah, you, you remember you said this whole time? They don't know you're saying stuff like naively. You don't even know anything about the situation that's going on. And now people are trying to get you caught up in something legal that you don't even have any knowing about like you're just let's say i'm a reader right and i just get a download about something and i do my reading about it and then people try to take it out of context and say see i told you see she knows she knows they said no 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 i'm doing my reads that's it when i when this camera goes up honey i don't know who you people are <laughs> i don't know what you're doing <laughs> there's something also about like a wealth something was stolen there's someone that's been hindering like communications like if you were supposed to receive, like I remember I talked about this a while back when I started this platform. This is when like the hackers were like, oh honey, hacking me was a full-time job. A full-time job. I mean, phones, computers, mail, like my physical mail, emails, text messages, everything, they were in it. Someone has been out here blocking communication. So if there was some type of message you were supposed to receive a while back, you didn't receive it. And someone thinks that you just uh, ignore them or something, or you didn't respond to something. People are assuming that you are okay with something going on. Or you just, I don't know, you didn't receive the communication. Maybe this is what people don't know. And I'm using my situation as an example because, because whoever is trying to communicate with you may not know that you didn't receive the communication, someone has been going in and deleting those messages, blocking those messages and things like that. So even if you have like a family member, a longtime friend, colleague, old former co-worker, whatever, trying to communicate with you, maybe even the course, I doubt the course system is going to communicate with you through text messages or emails. Um, but there's some type of information, some email and there was some type of letter you were supposed to receive, you did not, and it's because people were interfering with your communications, okay? There is some type of investigation, like an internal investigation going on behind the scenes that people are not aware of. The universe wants you to know that you are highly favored by the spirit realm, okay? So if you're there, you know, now you know, trigger. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stay blessed. If nobody told you they love you today, don't come over here looking for it because I ain't gonna tell you anyways. I'm just kidding. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read or you'll see my hands flaring on the screen. Thank you. Goodbye for now.